Reuters news agency stumbled upon something as they were looking into U.S. oil exports. They found that oil that was being released from the strategic oil reserves was not going to you, the American consumer. Oh, no. It was being sent to foreign countries, and some even made it into the hands of our enemies. Surely there's a good reason why the Biden administration is emptying our oil reserves that are meant to be used in a national emergency. Surely there's a good reason why Joe Biden is sending oil to the CCP. Well, I'm going to bring in somebody who understands world markets and can perhaps explain why this was done. Ed Butowski is a managing partner at Chapwood Investments. Ed, always great having your financial expertise here. Ed, um, you know, the first the first mental hurdle of logic you have to get past is why in the world, instead of going into our oil reserves, which are meant for times of war, our war, not other people's wars, right? Why mm-hmm. Biden didn't just, you know, there, there are a million things we've talked about on this show a million times uh, that, uh, that, that could have been done other than going into these oil reserves in the first place. But once you get past that lack of logic, uh, then you really want to know why would he send our oil reserves to our enemies? Is there some strategic reason here that could help bring the price of oil down on the world market? Or does Joe Biden just hate America? I mean, you really at some certain point have to ask that as a logical question. Yes, you, you do. And, and I cannot come up with for the life of me why the president would instruct you know one million barrels you know, five million barrels to go to, your, you know, Europe and to the Chinese Communist Party. I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever. And from a strategic standpoint, you know, you hit on something really interesting, uh, Gina, is that we're at the lowest level of our strategic reserves since 1986. That was reached last month. And we're supposed to give out a million barrels a day for 180 days that started in April. That's going to bring our strategic uh, petroleum reserves down to the lowest level ever. And, And if there's ever a time that we need to have strategic reserves, it's now, let alone giving it to Europe and giving it to the Chinese. Chinese Communist Party makes no sense whatsoever, and it did nothing to help with oil prices at all. I mean, you think about it, we consume 20 million barrels a day. One million barrels is just 5 percent. So it's it's really not that significant. Even when he said that they were going to release this to bring the price of oil down, even if it stayed in this country, let alone going overseas, but if it stayed in this country, it wouldn't have done anything and hasn't done anything to bring the price of oil lower. All right. And zero mention of this, of course, on any of the leftist run uh, corporate media. Um, But, Ed, when is the strategic petroleum? I mean, I just want to back this up and bring this back to basics for those who don't follow this story all the time. When is the strategic petroleum reserve supposed to be used? I remember talk of it happening after the September 11th terror attacks, but nothing like that has happened. Joe Biden has a political emergency right now, not a war emergency right now. Um, But is this to save his political hide? Is that what this was really about? And even then, why why to our foreign enemies? It just makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, this, and again, none of this makes sense, and very little makes sense from this man. I mean, he's very dangerous, deceptive, sneaky, and, and you know, a lot of that's coming out in a lot of different places in his, um, you know, as he has, you know, continued to, uh, you know, be the president. And if you want to, you know, say that he is, you know, in control of things, that's a whole other story. But the, the question really is, why in the world would he try to take oil from the United States and send it overseas? And what price did he get for this? I mean, that's another thing. I mean, if it's selling at, you know, $90 a barrel or $95 a barrel, did he sell it at a discount? I mean, why would they want to buy from us and from our strategic reserve? Again, it just doesn't make any sense at all. And I'd like to be able to say, you know, he did it for this reason or that reason. But there's got to be something else in this. There's got to be something behind the scenes that makes him want to do that because it really doesn't impact, you know, our prices that much. Even if a million barrels, you know, five million barrels was stayed in the United States, it wouldn't have brought the prices down. So why was he being sneaky and pushing it out there? Um, That's a great question for somebody to ask him.